The unforgiving desert doesn't easily give up its secrets. Will it reveal what happened to Jaden Glong? One morning, Jaden just vanishes. I'm a mother of six. So when something like this happens, uh, it's just like stabbed in the heart. Did she get lost in the wilderness outside Tucson, Arizona? Did she run away with a boyfriend? Or did a predator kidnap her? It's scary. It's, it's nerve wracking. Um, so this is just a really hard time for everyone here. Jaden was a typical 13 year old girl in the seventh grade. She loved dancing. Her Instagram page is filled with photos showing her incredible flexibility. It was theorized that Jaden might have run off with a friend, but sadly, that isn't the case. Jaden's body was found just hours after she disappeared in the Tucson suburb of Vail. She was face down, her clothing was torn. The medical examiner says Jaden was strangled to death. Tucson detectives broke the sad news about the autopsy to Jaden's mom. They have ruled uh, that this is a homicide. What do you feel happened? All those questions, I, I feel like you're saying that he did this. The he Jessica is talking about is her husband, Jaden's stepfather, Josh LaLavere. Jessica is pregnant with his child. Jaden reportedly told a friend six weeks before her disappearance that she was super scared of her stepdad. That friend spoke to police investigating the case. It might have been a rumor, but her dad was kind of a, her stepdad was kind of abusive. She was not like very happy to be around her stepdad. She always would talk bad about him and not be fond of him. Cops pressed Jessica for more details about Josh's background. What do you know about Josh's ex? Exes, ex-wives, they're crazy. Okay. How many exes does he have? Okay. Down the hall, they bring Lilla Veer into the interrogation room. So here's what we're going to do. Um, you can go ahead and have a seat. I'm going to put these on you. They handcuff him to the table and search him. Have a seat. Okay. I'll be back with you in just a little bit, okay? But it would be more than just a minute, as you're about to see a whole lot more. Cops bring him a bottle of water. You remember I told you I was gonna, we were gonna figure this out, no matter what it ended up being. Cops show Jessica images from surveillance video they claim that shows Lilavere's Dodge Charger driving through the area where Jaden's body was found. Do you recognize kind of the vehicle there in the images? Like the okay, that's that's what we thought. The police say Lilla Veer denied being in the neighborhood. Then they tell Jessica what evidence they found in her car. We processed the inside of, of the car, and there was a large smear of blood that had been cleared up in the back of the Chevy Traverse. And that was uh, that that had that was that matched DNA as well. <laughs> In the search warrant obtained by Crime Watch Daily, cops seized a spy camera and nude images and or video of adults or juveniles. Cops claim they found peepholes in the wall between the den and the hall bathroom. Investigators say Lelavier used his computer in the den. He would tell me how she would tell him stuff, and so to me, I thought, okay, well, at least she confides in him. Cops claim on a computer he had access to, they found an image depicting a young female believed to be Jaden Glom in the bathroom of the residence wearing a sports bra. Do you ever remember seeing in the house anything like that? No. At this point, Lilavere has been cuffed in the interrogation room for four hours and 22 minutes. Then detectives walk in and tell him his fate. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna take you down to the Pima County Jail. Okay. You're going to be booked on uh, first-degree murder and abandonment and concealment of a dead body. A grand jury indicted Lelevere on eight felony counts, including first-degree murder and surreptitious photographing, videotaping, filming, or digitally recording or viewing. That's right. Lelevere is accused of using that spy camera to film Jaden during her most intimate moments. 
did it ever concern you the amount of kind of a long time that they were spending with each other? She was usually in a different room. And now Lelavere is locked in a cell in the Pima County Jail. He's held on one and a half million dollars bond. And at Jaden's school, a candlelight vigil. Our Tucson affiliate, KOLD, is there. Friends and neighbors in the stands, their eyes filled with tears. She was gorgeous and funny and kind. <laughs> and I miss her. <laughs> it's hard to say goodbye to the little girl who touched so many hearts, taken way before her time. Jaden's mother, Jessica, officially divorced Joshua Lullivere following his arrest, giving birth to their baby earlier this year. Lullivere pleaded not guilty to all charges, and his trial is set for July 2018. I'm Chris Hansen. If you like this story, make sure you tune in every day to Crime Watch Daily. You can find where the show airs in your city at CrimeWatchDaily.com. Watch it live or record it on your DVR and watch it at night. And to all those criminals out there, remember, we are watching.